We are joined now by Dr. Anthony Fauci. Dr. Fauci, thanks for coming back again this morning. So we're seeing these first vaccines being administered as the country mourns more than 300,000 lives lost, 17,000 in the last week. How do you make sense of this moment? Well, it's, you know, it's bittersweet, George, because we are still in a terrible situation with the numbers that you mentioned, the deaths, the hospitalizations, the number of cases. And yet, we're really now starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel that is going to ultimately get us through this. Uh, we know we're going to be able to put this behind us, but in the meantime, we still have a struggle ahead of us. So we've got to get people vaccinated as quickly and as expeditiously as we possibly can until we get that, that herd immunity, as we say, which will require, in my opinion, about 75 to 80 percent of the population getting vaccinated. But in the meantime, we have to adhere to the public health measures in order to blunt the acceleration of these terrible numbers that we hear every day. As you know, there's still a lot of skepticism about the vaccine. I was just talking to a couple of members of our crew here, and I guess the basic question is, how can we be sure it's safe when it was developed so quickly? You know, George, that's a great question. The speed was not at all at the sacrifice of safety. The speed was the reflection of extraordinary advances in the science of vaccine platform technology. To be able to do things technically in months that some time ago, five, ten years ago, may have taken several years. In addition, the extraordinary investment, and when I say investment, I'm talking hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, in getting the vaccine ready to be distributed as soon as it was proven to be safe and effective. So people understandably are skeptical about the speed, but we have to keep emphasizing speed means the science was extraordinary that got us here. President-elect Biden has named you his chief medical advisor. You're still serving with the current administration. How do you straddle these two worlds? And are we seeing the cooperation we need to see on production and distribution of the vaccine? Well, we can do both because the goal is the same, George. I mean, but my goal as a, as a physician, a scientist, a public health official, you know, we were very deeply involved and still are with the development of the vaccine, with the development of new drugs, with the policy about getting people out there, like I'm speaking with you, encouraging people to abide by the public health measures. That's not going to change. I mean, the thing is going to be the same. We still have a lot of problems out there. We still have a great challenge. So I don't see any conflict at all. The Biden team says the president like Biden will take the vaccine in public when you give him the green light. Should that happen right away? I believe so, George. I mean, this is a person who very soon will be the president of the United States. Uh, uh, the president, uh, Vice President-elect uh, Kamala Harris will very soon be the vice president of the United States. For security reasons, I really feel strongly that we should get them vaccinated as soon as we possibly can. You want him fully protected as he enters into the presidency uh, in January. So that would be my strong recommendation. What about President Trump? He's already had the virus. Should he take the vaccine? You know, I, if, if, if he were asking me, I would recommend that he do that as well as Vice President Pence. You still want to protect people who are, you know, very important to our country right now, even though the president himself was infected and he has likely antibodies that likely would be protective. We're not sure how long that protection lasts. So to be doubly sure, I would recommend that he get vaccinated as well as the vice president. Dr. Fauci, thanks for your time this morning. Good to be with you, George. Thank you for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.